In this area of the country, it's not a question of if a disaster will strike, but when. Tornadoes, severe weather, wildfires, and floods are just a few of the unforeseen events that can seriously affect everyone in Talladega County. At the Talladega County EMA, it's our mission to make sure that everyone in our county is prepared to respond no matter what disaster may strike. And it's your responsibility to plan, prepare, and be responsible. So, you may be asking yourself, what exactly do they do at the Talladega County EMA? Well, we're responsible for coordinating the emergency management activities of county and city governments relating to the safety of our citizens through the training of all county responders and acquiring needed financial resources for response efforts. In addition, we also exercise our mutual aid system among the different municipalities and their responders throughout the county, a coordination that focuses on mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. And you can rest assured that we're on standby 24-7 to better help you prepare and respond to any kind of hazard, including tornadoes, thunderstorm and lightning safety, flood danger, fire safety, winter storms, and chemical emergencies. One of the primary ways we help the citizens of Talladega County is by arming you with the knowledge you need in the event of an emergency. We encourage everyone to prepare an emergency preparedness plan. The first step to developing an emergency preparedness plan is to do your homework and know the hazards. Determine the hazards that could affect you, your family, and your community, and become familiar with emergency plans at work, school, church, and other places where you spend time. The second step is to create your emergency preparedness plan. Meet with your family and discuss emergency preparedness. Share responsibilities and work together as a team and discuss what to do during and after an emergency. You'll also want to determine safe rooms or shelter rooms in your home to shelter in place in the event of chemical hazards or severe weather. And be sure all family members know where your disaster supply kit is located, which we'll discuss in a moment. Step three is to have easy access to emergency information. Post emergency telephone numbers by your home phone and program them into your cell phones. Keep a list of these emergency telephone numbers in your wallet or purse as well. The fourth step is to practice and maintain your plan. Review your plan and make changes as needed. Quiz your children often so they remember what to do. Test and change batteries and radios and flashlights annually and replace emergency water and food in your disaster supply kit every six months. By having your family emergency preparedness plan in place, you and your family will be ready to respond quickly and safely. In Talladega County, we've all seen firsthand how important it is to be prepared in the event of a disaster. This is most obvious when we experience loss of power and utilities, which can close grocery stores, gas stations, and more. With that in mind, you can be prepared by creating a disaster supply kit to take care of you and your family for at least three full days. Your disaster supply kit should contain the following items depending on your specific needs. Flashlights and radio with extra batteries, a three-day supply of non-perishable food and drinking water, extra clothing and hygiene products, a fire extinguisher, first aid and medication, baby items, items for those with special needs, bedding, standard tools and supplies, cash, comfort items, pet food and care products, and copies of your most important documents. So, how will you know if an emergency has been declared? Through the Emergency Alert System, or EAS. The EAS represents a coordinated effort among the Talladega County EMA, the National Weather Service, and area TV and radio broadcasters, and it's designed to bring you up-to-the-minute emergency information in your listening or viewing area. In addition, we use outdoor warning sirens. When you hear a warning siren, if outdoors, move inside quickly. You should tune into your EAS station immediately for more information. The tones you may hear include the whale tone. The whale tone represents a siren test. The long high-pitched tone represents a tornado warning. The high-low tone represents a hazardous material accident or radiological accident. While Talladega County's outdoor warning system is designed for maximum reach, please keep in mind they are not meant to be the primary source of warning for people. The best source for emergency warnings inside your home is the NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio, also called the Emergency Alert Radio, or EAR, 
This system will provide you with weather-related watches and warnings. In the event of severe weather, move to the most centralized location in your home. Cover yourself with blankets, pillows, or a mattress. In the event of a hazardous materials emergency, if you're told to shelter in place, you need to follow these basic steps. First, go inside and close all windows and doors, including the garage door. Turn off all heating, cooling, and ventilation systems, including window fans, ceiling fans, and bathroom exhaust fans. Close all interior doors. Take a portable radio and flashlight into your shelter room and close the door. If possible, your shelter room should be a windowless room within a centrally located area of your house. Once inside your shelter room, tune your radio to a local EAS station and await further instructions. If you're told to evacuate, first of all, stay calm. You should gather only essential items like prescription medications and leave immediately. Don't waste time searching for personal items. The objective is to take immediate action. If you have neighbors who are without transportation, offer a ride. Once inside your vehicle, close all windows and vents. Turn the heating and air conditioning off. You should then tune the radio to a local EAS station for further emergency updates. Do you know someone with special needs? People with special needs who are self-sufficient under normal circumstances may have to rely on your help in a disaster. Please be ready to offer assistance to these citizens if disaster strikes. You can do this by working with your neighbors while preparing an emergency response plan and by identifying how you will contact each other and what action to take. There are many potential disasters in waiting, so the Talladega County EMA would like to take this opportunity to passionately encourage your continued preparedness at home, at work, at school, and at play. Remember, it's your responsibility to plan, prepare, and be responsible. For more information on how to remain responsible, you can call the Talladega County Emergency Management Agency at 256-761-2125. For more information on what we've discussed in this video, you can also visit our website at talladegaema.org.